Good morning, guys. So for today, we are going to discuss how to solve the equation in one variable. Okay, so that is based on most essential learning competencies and Pivot Calabarzon's learning module. So before we proceed to our learning task, solving for x in the equation, let us recall the properties of equality. So in the properties of equality, properties of equality, so we have APE, which is equivalent to SPE. Parehas lang po yan. Nagkakaiba lang po siya sa kanyang negative sign. Also, MPE and division property of equality, which is DPE. Kasi meron tayong multiplicative inverse na tinatawag. At yun ay as the same as you are going to divide. Okay? Now, let us have an, uh, an equation. Let's say we have x minus 5 is equal to 7. So, x minus 5 is equal to 7. So, therefore, we have x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 7 plus 5. Paano po nangyari yun? Kasi, uh, to eliminate itong ating negative 5 or minus 5, so, we add both sides by 5. So, nag plus 5 po lang tayo. Na, so, therefore, so ito yung tinatang natin additive inverse. So, x is equal to 0. Oh, x plus 0 na po siya. So, na-cancel siya, di ba? And then, on the other side of the equation, we have 12. So, therefore, x is equal to 12. Okay? So, to check, using substitution property of equality, so, doon sa ating original equation na x minus 5 is equal 7, so we have 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. So, 7 is equal to 7. Both sides are equal to 7. So, therefore, the value of x is correct, which is the solution set. Ano? So, yung ano naman yung tinatawag natin subtraction property of equality. Sabihin natin na ito ay x plus 5 is equal to 7. Subtraction naman. So, we are going to subtract both sides of the equation by 5. So, x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 7 minus 5. Diba? So, therefore, na-cancel na yon. So, x is equal to 2. Okay? If x is equal to 2, so let us check. So, we have x plus 5 equals 7. So, ito yung ating original equation. So, we have 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So, both sides are equal to 7. So, therefore, the solution set, uh, which is the value of x, 2, is correct. O, diba? Ganun lang po yun. SPE and MPE. Bakit sinasabi ko kanina, pwede naman kasi dito ay parehas lamang. So, x plus 5 and then add by negative 5. Diba? Yun yung tinatawag nating tinatawag nating additive inverse. So, equal 0 na rin siya. x is equal to so, kung ito plus negative 5, so magiging 2 na rin siya. Okay? x is equal to 2. Okay? How about naman dun sa ating multiplication na property of equality and division property of equality. Okay. Let's say we have x over 4 is equal to 5 x over 4 is equal to 5. In the multiplication property of equality, so let us uh, multiply both sides by 4. Then 5 times 4. Okay? So, kung i-multiply natin siya by 4, so that is equivalent to x is equal to 20. Okay? x 
x is equal to 20. Let us check. So, to check that, so we have 20 over 4 is equal to 5. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, both sides are equal to 5. So, therefore, the value of x is 20. Ngayon, dito kasi, um, kung isusulat natin siya, that is 1 fourth, di ba? 1 fourth of x. And then, itong 1 fourth, ito yung tinatawag natin multiplicative inverse of the uh, 4. 1 fourth is the multiplicative inverse of 4. Okay? Kaya pwede siyang division property din. Na. So, ngayon, let's say we have 4x is equal to, let's say, uh, 20. 4x is equal to 20. Diba? Divide both sides. Ang gagawin lang natin dyan. Divide both sides. Division property of equality by 20. Para makansel natin siya. So, x is equal to, uh, x is equal to 5. Okay? So, x is equal to 5. Kung x is equal to 5, so 4x is equal to 20. So, 4 times 5 equals 20. So, 20 is equal to 20. Both sides are equal to 20. So, therefore, the solution set is 5. Okay? Ngayon, sa, di ba ang ating original equation ay 4x equals 20? Okay? So, if we multiply both sides by 1 4 multiply natin, so divide multiplication property. Bakit 1 fourth? Kasi ito yung multiplicative inverse ng 4. So, cancel na po siya. Diba? Reciprocal yun eh. So, that is equivalent to 1. So, x is equal to, what is 1 fourth of 20? And that is 5. So, pareho lang po siya ng, ng value ng x. So, pwedeng nagkaiba lang po ng solution, pero, isa pa rin po yung resulta niyan. Okay? So, let us now proceed to our learning task. So, in our learning task, we are going to solve the value of x. Okay? So, ang ating pong isosolve dyan ay yung number 1 at saka yung number 5. So, for number 1, we have 5x plus 12 is equal to 2x minus 3. So, once again, so pakita po natin sa screen. So, we have 5x minus plus 12 equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so medyo ano lang po ba ng ating signal ilaw. Okay, yan. So, nakikita na po. Visible na. So, ngayon po, ang gusto kong ipakilala sa inyo yung tinatawag nating transposition. So, this is the short uh, short way of uh, multi uh, addition property and uh, subtraction property of uh, equality. Okay? So, sabi natin, lahat kasi ng land ang variable dapat narito sa upside na ito ng equation. So, mas maganda magkakahilera po yung ating equal sign. Okay? So, therefore, we have 5x minus 2x. Bakit naging 2x? ba Positive 2x siya dito. Kapag nilipat natin siya sa kabila, magiging siyang negative 2x. Or, subtraction property of equality, isusubtract natin siya both sides of the equation. Kaya, na-cancel siya dito. Papapalipat na dito. Meron dito negative 2x. Then, negative 3 minus 12. Kaparehos lang po ng 2x kanina. Positive dito, mapalipat dito sa kabila, magiging negative 12. Okay? So, therefore, simplify na po natin so, meron tayong 3x is equal to negative 18. And then, divide both sides by 3. So, x is equal to negative 5. Bakit po natin i-divide siya by 3? Kasi, ang numerical coefficient ng x ay 3. Tandaan ha, kung ano yung katabing number ng x, 
o nung any variable, yun po yung ating i-divide. Okay? Let us check. So, let us check if the solution set is correct. So, once again, we have 5x plus 12 is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay? So, therefore, we have 5 times negative 5 plus 12 is equal to 2 times negative 5 minus 3. So, we have negative 25 plus 12 is equal to negative 10 minus 3. Then, negative 25 plus 12 is negative 13. Sa kabilang side, ang pinagsama natin yung negative 10 at negative 3, negative 13 din po. So, both sides are equal to negative 13. So, therefore, the solution set is correct. Okay? So, then na po tayo sa ating number 1 example. How about naman yung ating number 5? And number 5, as I promise you, we are going to solve this learning task. Okay? So, for number 5, we have 5x, uh, 5 times the quantity of x minus 2 plus 2x equals 7 times the quantity of x plus 4 minus 30. This time, meron po tayong involved na parenthesis. Okay? Meron po tayong involved na parenthesis. Okay, so therefore, atin pong redistribute yung 5 dito sa ating quantity. So, we have by means of multiplication. So, we have 5x minus 10 plus 2x is equal to 7x by means of multiplication, magiging siyang plus 28 minus 3. Okay? Pagsamahin ang magkakapareho, similar terms, combine similar terms, so we have 7x minus 10. Then on the other side, we have 7x equals R plus 25. Okay? Then, on the other side, we have 7x minus 7x is equal to uh, plus 25. So, ang sinapon natin yung negative, uh, positive sign. So, understood na po siya, 25. And then, magiging siyang negative, uh, positive 10. Okay, positive 10. Ngayon, ano pong nangyari sa ating ngayon dito? Diba? Kung makapansin ninyo, 7x minus 7x is 0 is equal to 35. So, therefore, we, it is not uh, an example of linear equation. Take note of that, ha? hindi po siya example ng linear equation kasi we can have uh, the uh, value of or the solution set. Ano? We don't have the no solution set. So, that is it. No solution set. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. So, sana po nakatulong itong aking munting video para sa pag-solve ng linear equation in one variable. Okay? So, maraming salamat ha, sa inyong panunood ng ating video. So, don't forget to like ha, our video, subscribe our TV channel and click the notification bell.